Hey guys, Tark with Cyclone. Oh, Tark and Wonton with Cyclone. Look, you're famous. Say hi. Say hi. Look. Look at everybody. Say hi. All right, this is my dog, Wonton. Uh, Lo Mein is sitting over there. She's a lot bigger than Wonton. And then Noodles is somewhere else. Big Chinese food family, right? Right? You good? Say hi to everybody. Yeah. Okay, time to put you down. She's like, touch Tell mommy you love me more. Okay, bye. Yeah. Go on. Okay, anyway, so we just got done doing a Mobula 6 video, a breakdown of it, the firmware, and changing it, blah, 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 blah. Now it's time to look at my customer's uh, Mobula 6 and see if it was really bad, okay? So first thing we're going to do is, he's got it set, if I'm not mistaken, and I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to do this here. Whoops. Let me do this here and let me zoom out. I still had it zoomed in from when we were, God darn it. Here, let me zoom out, and then I'll share, the, I'll share everything with you. You'll, you'll even see I still have my notes on the table. Uh, here, all right. This is his Mobula 6 right here. Let me put all my notes aside. And we're just going to go ahead and plug this in and get it bound up and see if it's really causing problems. Um, this could interfere with the video, though. So let me see if I can fix this somehow so it doesn't interfere. Give me one second here. Let me put the, at least let me put this because this is the radio he was using. So let me go ahead and just see if I can. Uh, first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to buy. Now, this is 3.4. 5.7 instructions. I'm not going to change that for him. So I'm going to uh, I'm going to uh, do this knowing that we are going to be uh, working with 3.5.7 for, for now for you guys. Okay, so let's go here and let's check and make sure everything looks right. Um, he's got the TBS done right. He's got the configuration. D-Shot 600. He's got motor stop and he said motor stop didn't work. We're going to check on that. Motor direction is reversed. That's fine. Accelerometer is activated. That's fine. Maximum arming angle. Uh, we're going to put that at 180 degrees, which is what the, I believe that's what the stock is. So let me do 180. Okay. Um, I'll be six. That's right. That's right. We're going to do free sky D. That's fine. So let's click save, save and reboot. Okay. I'm just going to check his settings out. So, so far, nothing has to be really adjusted. Uh, let's go to our modes. Uh, let me disconnect and reconnect. Let's go to our modes here. Um, he did adjust all of these. Okay, so this is wrong. Um, and, and this is definitely where uh, this is a change from what it was. First of all, there was no horizon set. All right. Um, so we know that these have changed from the factory values. Um, but uh, let's just see if we can uh, make some adjustments here anyway. So he left the rate profile settings like they are. The only problem is, is he left the rate profile setting here for... Um, uh, he added a mode, which is horizon mode, but he left the acro rate profile settings active. So let's just do this just to see. Let me go here and let's just say, where is this? Let me turn these off. One, two, three. I'll leave, I'll leave the first one on. Okay. But let's turn the last one off. Let's turn these, let's turn it off, I guess. Um, okay. Let's go to his modes. I'll come back and turn that off. So he wants angle here and he wants horizon here. And then let's make sure he hasn't done anything else. Head free. So on, on the other one, uh, auxiliary three was flip over after crash. You would not want to use um, the same button for that. Yeah, I don't care if it's in a different position. That's a mistake. So let's stretch this out. Let's get, if you want to use head free mode, that's fine. You can put that for, um, oh, I don't know. Um, You see he's not flying goggles i guess so i'm taking that out uh, he, but if you wanted to do it for all of them you just stretch this out and set it for auxiliary one so it's head free the whole time and that way when it's armed okay and my arming is the opposite way so i'm going to put it here uh, and then here and then he's got horizon here uh, and then you'll have head free the whole way i don't like that so i'm going to remove that okay and uh, i'm going to set this as horizon angle mode okay and anything after that would be acro mode flip is right um, I'm gonna click save this is this is just not right this whole thing is configured incorrectly uh, on adjustments we're gonna turn them all off we don't need them. one two and three let's click save uh, we may turn them back on but for right now we're gonna turn them off uh, let me make sure he hasn't done anything else okay all right so the binding here is a little different I mean, he's got all this stuff on here, so let's go ahead and just, let's just, uh, obviously he's not flying, um, he's not flying uh, FPV because he would have seen all that scribble. So I'm going to go ahead and turn OSD off as well, okay? Now, obviously we need to bind, okay? And to bind this one's going to be a little different. So when you're binding with 3.5.7, you'll do the following. 
So we're going to, we're still running D8, so on your radio, hold your button down, and then go to, make sure you're on D8, and then go to bind, and you can start the binding process. Now pay attention to the screen, okay? And I have to remember to do this, how to do this. FR, sky, underscore, bind, hit enter. Oops, what happened? Hold on, I'm, I don't know if I'm, oh, well, there you go. I guess it, it took it, and so now I'm gonna try, hopefully, to type save. Assume this thing is seeing it. Okay, and we're gonna get out. And I don't, I don't think that worked. Let me just go back to it. Right, okay. So we're gonna go back here because I don't think our CLI was working. So let me go back to CLI. I was just hopeful maybe it was gonna read it anyway. So we're gonna go back. Okay, we're gonna get ready to go into bind mode. So here we are, FR sky underscore bind. Hit enter, now watch this. Set uh, fr sky underscore. No, oh, no, that won't matter. That won't matter. Never mind. We're not doing x. So it's binding. So now we're just going to click bind, and we can see that the red light is blinking. Okay, so we're binding. So now we'll press the button again to stop it, and we will come down here. We'll just type save. I was about to do a binding method that would be for the X. If you're running uh, ACC instead of DX X instead of 16 channel. All right. So now look, we're bound. We got our we got our we got our telemetry. You can see our RSSI. Let me show you. Right here. Okay. Sorry about the glare. Now let's go back to. Uh, let's go back to. Uh, let's disconnect and reconnect. Now let's go to our receiver tab. And let's make sure we've got everything in the right way. So there we go. We're going to click Save. Now our throttle is set. Lost. It will be in a second. Telemetry throttle is set. Recovered. Auxiliary 1 is set. Auxiliary 2 is set. And then our temporary Auxiliary 3 is set. Now, that's it. Gentleman said that at this point it would not properly work for him. And we are going to see if that's actually true. Okay? So we're going to take this and set it aside. And we're going to disconnect the quad and we're going to plug Telemetry in the battery. Lost. Okay? First thing, he, first thing he had a problem with, uh, and we are going to now uh, go just to the quad and me. Here we go. First thing he had a problem with is that he said that when he started it up. Okay, so here's one of the things. And he said, wow, it jumps a lot when you do that. Okay, well, let's, let's look at something real quick. Okay, so let's go ahead and let's go back here. Let's go to here. Let's connect. Okay. And let's check out something here. I forgot to disconnect my other one properly. Let me. What? He's got an. Un okay, so here's one of the things. He was messing with the firmware. And what we want to do is we want to make sure. What did he. This, this is completely wrong. And this is from his, this is from the customer doing this, okay? So we need to flash this, and this is flashed incorrectly. We're trying to flash 16.7, all right? So let's go ahead and click okay. And you see, he's got, here we go. So let's go ahead and click yes. We're going to go through reflashing the entire setup. Okay. And we might as well get ready to take some notes down on the BL Heli settings that were on here because you cannot um, you cannot play with the BL Heli on this thing, guys. You've got to know what you're doing when you mess with BL Heli. And in this case, he was trying to flash it and he said it kept timing out. And I'm like, you should never be touching it anyway, especially if you're new to this. Uh, if you have any questions, we'll tell you. But, I mean, this is not something that you really want to mess with. So we're going to go ahead and reset this one. Yes. And then we're going to click OK. Yes. Yes. OK. Yes. All right. Now. Okay, this looks okay. Everything here I think looks about right. So let me click. I'm gonna right set up one more time. 
and I'm going to remove program by TX. Right, set up again. Click OK, and then I'm going to disconnect. Now, to make it work properly, once you disconnect, you need to remove all the power, and then you can go back and you can try to add this. Okay, so let's do this real quick. Put the battery in. Okay, now let's go back to beta flight. Now that we know it's a little more calm here, let's go to beta flight. Let's connect. Configuration. I'm gonna try something. I'm gonna click save and reboot. Okay. Telemetry lost. Telemetry recovered. It may not arm while it's plugged in. Let me just see. Okay. Now that that's good, let's go back. Let's connect. And let's go to configuration. Model idle, motor throttle, and we'll just put this to zero. Just in case. Let's click save. You heading out? Okay, babe, I love you. Okay, babe, drive safe. All right, now let's go out here. Put it in. Okay. Telemetry lost. Telemetry recovered. Telemetry lost. I think, I think what's happening is my battery is about dead. Okay. And here we go. And it flies like a champ. Okay, now, one of the complaints he had was that he had it for motor stop and it's not working. And he's on this part, this is, we're going to check something out here real quickly. So, first thing is that we, this thing can fly now, all right? There's absolutely no problem with this flying. And it was the issue the customer did, the, the issue on here was that the customer not only added modes and were put in correctly, but also put a firmware, yes, and put a firmware on here that doesn't work uh, for the ESC. So now let me plug this back in real quickly so I get the camera. We're gonna record our flight. And then what we're gonna do is we're gonna upgrade the firmware on this board and see if the uh, D shot, the do not spin on here will be corrected as far as that goes. But if you lower the, sorry, let me just get this. Bear with me a second. I gotta fit this somehow in here. There we go. Okay, we're good. Everything's plugged back in. Everything looks good. So what we're going to do now is I do want to look at the setup to see if we can do a firmware update on here. This is what I was trying to tell him to do. If he'll do a firmware update on here. Uh, and so I'm going to actually update this one. I need to get it off the screen though. I forgot because it's going to lock up our system. So let me just go here. Uh, let me do this. There we go. All right. So we're going to do the same thing we just did with the last one. I'm going to click connect. Okay, and we can look at our configuration here. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna tell this, uh, we wanna do a firmware update. Okay, so we're gonna do the exact same one, load firmware, we're gonna do a full chip erase, and we're gonna flash it. Okay, goes in DFU mode, here we go. All right, guys, so look, again, and I'm not dogging the customer. This guy's a cool guy. I mean, we were on the phone with it. I just, you gotta, you, you have to. And I'm just gonna say this because I'm trying to be much more, I'm trying to make it easier for everybody, but it's really hard when people are like, it's your fault or it's just the product's bad. And I'm like, look, man, just chill a minute. Here's the deal. You're not gonna get this overnight. And it's not gonna, it's not, it's, it's not something that's supposed to happen overnight. You, you know, we, we've paid our dues to learn this stuff and it takes a while. We're here to help. But when it's like, this is defective, this doesn't work. No, it's not. It's not defective. You just don't know how to use it yet. But if you just chill out, we're gonna show you how. That's what I'm doing right now. So watch what happens. 
So now we're gonna connect. I will apply custom defaults, that's fine. Okay, C connect again, click close. All right, now we'll reset the calibration. Now watch, I'm gonna go back to my, this is the saved, this isn't it, let me close that one. I have the saved file that I just did with the 4.2.10 uh, dump file right here. Okay, so this is with all the updates. So I'm gonna select all, I'm gonna right click and click copy, come over here, go to my CLI, go to paste, right here, right click and click paste, I'm gonna hit enter, watch it run all the way through and put all in the working commands that we know work. And you know what? And the customer's defense, I will say this. He said, well, why don't you guys just flash it before you ship? I'm like, well, because we don't. Because the stuff that's on there works. You don't know how to use it. I get it. But it does work. So there's no need for us to open every box and flash things because, I mean, that's, you know, it's kind of one of those, if it's not broke, don't fix it. Well, I believe in that a lot. The only reason I'm flashing this now is because I've been asked by so many people, well, what do we do when we want to flash it? Well, here you go. Um, but again, it's not our fault. I mean, like you buy a product, it gets shipped to us with a firmware on there that is not a known problem. If it was a known problem, we would open all of them and be like, oh God, we're gonna fix this before we send them so we don't deal with anybody. It's not a problem. So that's why we don't do it. However, I will say that taking up an hour or two hours and an argument and emails, I'm gonna start adding the option to open and upgrade a lot of our stuff for our customers. I will charge for it. I mean, there's gonna be like a $25 charge. I don't care, it takes an hour of my time, then you have to pay for that. Um, but it will save me multiple hours of, of, of a headache and it will save the customer hours of headache. Uh, and so I think there's gonna be a nice balancer that we come up with, okay? And this customer is teaching me a lesson about that. I'll tell you, it was, we were going at it, but I think when we both chilled out, we're just like, look, he just wants to fly and I just wanna quit being blamed for this, right? <laughs> That's all. And it's a tough spot to be in, but he is a cool guy. And I am, I am gonna be very happy when he gets this back and he's excited about it, all right? Cool. So this thing, Autumn, this thing did set back up. We are running, um, let me connect. So we are now uh, running the setup properly. And I apologize, but I think my, um, okay, so we're gonna turn motor stop on. Let's see if with the new firmware, this is taken care of. I'll be curious to see. Okay, so here goes. Oh, stop. Sorry, guys. It's this, this. Okay. It's trying its best not to spin. You can see it, right? But here's something to think about. I think I know exactly what the problem is. I can't believe I missed this. Oh, my God. Watch. God darn it. It's the dumbest thing sometimes. Check this out. Here I am trying to invent the wheel here. Shut up, radio. Watch this. Uh, first thing is I need to go ahead and load his VTX table, by the way. So let me do that because that'll be the new, um, as a matter of fact, that'll be the new uh, setup that I do. So let me let me go to video transmitter and let me import. Oh, I did save it. Awesome. Oh, perfect. This is great, man. This is great. Okay. So watching this screen here, I'm sorry. Uh, I, I'm going to do this again for you guys because you didn't see me do it. So we're going to power this shut up a minute. Enter. All right. Now let's turn this back on. Welcome to OpenTM. And it actually needs to be throttle like warning. this. Let's look at this. So you can see the, yeah, yeah, throttle warning. Okay. Return. So you can see right here that when this connects, you see how I have a 1016 right here? Well, that's why it's going to do that. Look, you see that? So we're not at a thousand there. So first thing we're going to do is let me see if I can get this damn glare out of here. If I can, great. If not, I'll figure something out. Ah, whatever. We'll try it like that, okay? Let me just put the paper under there. Maybe that, at that angle, you guys can read it better. All right, so here goes. First thing we're gonna do, hold the system button down. Then press page one, two, three, four, five, whatever it is, one, two, three, four, five, whatever. Oops, there it goes. Just go to where it says calibration right there, okay? When you get there, hit your button, enter. Put your sticks in the center, okay? Hit enter. Now it says center sticks, hit enter. Move the sticks, one, two, three, four, five. Just go all the way around. Don't do this hard, don't slam it into the corners of the edges because it's gotta mimic it like if you're flying, not like if you're slamming it here because then you'll never reach the edge normally. So do the same thing here, just nice and gentle all the way around. 
Okay, left, right, left, right, up, down, up, down, up, down. Okay, all right, awesome. And then do your sliders, there you go. Okay, and the knees. All right, and then it wants you to do this one too, which I tend to not mess with, but okay, I'll play the game. And there we go. Look at that, okay? Now, now here's the deal, check this out. When I'm done, I hit enter, right? Now look at my throttle, okay? Look at this. I'm below a thousand, okay? So now if you wanna make it exact, you wanna call that, if you wanna set your limits, then fine. You go and you exit out, uh, sorry, return, and then you would hold model, and then press page. Keep pressing page until you get to your outputs tab right there. You see that right there? Check this out. Look at look at look at my first one, right? Channel one here, which is mine. When I'm at my lowest, it says 992, right? And that's wrong. It should be 1,000. So I, I want to go to my min value. This is my this is my min and this is my max. Here's my min, right? So our stick is down, so it's the minimum. So I'm going to click it and I'm going to roll this to the right until this reads 1,000. And look at the screen too. You need the screen to show 1,000 in Betaflight too, and it does. So you, once you get to 1,000, click Enter. Now put your stick all the way up. Well, you're not gonna go to 2009, so go to your maximum here, click the button, and roll it to the left until it reads 2000. Boom. Okay, bring that back down, and stick number one is perfect. Channel one is perfect. Now, you can get out of that. Uh, it does look, okay, you see how it's kind of flickering though? Like it's going back and forth. So just click back to it, and then just, oops, sorry. Uh, Okay, and then it's like this. Okay, so it's solid now at a thousand. If it's not, if it starts bouncing again, I'll show you what to do. Now let's go to channel two. Okay, so channel two is going to be my roll. Okay, so what I'm gonna do now is I'm going to go there and I'm gonna go to my minimum. Okay, now my, my middle though is 1500, which is perfect. If you look at the screen, when my sticks are in the middle, they're reading a perfect 1500, which is, I mean, it's awesome. That's what we want, right? Sorry, I'm bouncing over place here, but here you go. So what we're gonna do now is we're gonna adjust the min again. So when I hold this to the left, it goes to 988. I'm gonna click it, and I'm gonna spin it to the right until it goes to 1,000, okay? And don't worry about the pitch moving. I'm trying to hold this thing from going up and down. It doesn't matter. Then I'm gonna go to the max, and I'm gonna click it, and I'm gonna grow this down to 2,000, okay? And then I'm done. And then I'm gonna go to channel three, and I'm going to do the same thing. Okay, channel three, I'm going to hold it down. I'm going to click it. I'm going to raise it till it goes to a thousand. And then I'm going to go over. I'm going to raise it to the maximum. I'm going to scroll back till it goes to 2000. Okay, and we're at 1500. Return, and we're going to go to channel four. Channel four, we're going to take this, go all the way down, and we're going to raise it till it goes to a thousand. And then we're going to go to the max, and we're going to lower it till it goes to 2000. And look at that. Everything now is perfect. Okay? So, all right. And the next thing we're going to want to do now, let me switch screens here, is we're going to want to go here, and you're going to want to... Are you done? Yes. Got a bunch of noise going on. Just pulling out the, the power wires. Hey, those are supposed to be not for those desks. Well, I know that, but I'm just getting... Oh, you're just getting it ready? Okay. Yeah. Sorry, guys. Um, so <clears throat> the next thing we want to do is we want to go over here and make sure, and I didn't even think about this either, make sure you disable air mode. If you don't disable air mode, your motor stop isn't going to work. Okay. So, so here's what's going to happen. So check this out, right? I'm going to give you an example now of, I'm going to enable, I'm going to put on ports. Uh, let me go here. We've got motor stop set and it's 5.5 here. Everything looks good. It's going to turn the radio back on. Okay, and I'm going to now plug the battery in. I think this is the right battery. I don't know which one's got power. Uh, that should work. Okay, so let's just uh, hope that's it. Okay, so check this out. So I'm going to now just make the screen bigger like this. And this is with, yeah, that's, the, that's a bad battery. This battery's dead. So check this out. With, okay, let's try this again. Go. Okay. So 
here's what happens, right? We're ready to go, we're bound. Now, I have motor stop set, okay? Let me make sure I've got everything good, okay? okay. Okay, this is with motor stop set and air mode off. But check this out. What happens if I go back and since the default is to have the air mode on, now watch. Okay, so we're gonna take this out, put this here. Now they spin no matter what, because air mode's on, and that's what's supposed to happen with air mode. So if you want motor stop to work, you've got to make sure that you run this in a, in a configuration that does not have air mode active, all right? So you have two issues here. You've got <coughs> your radio that needs to be, <coughs> excuse me, calibrated, and then you've got to turn off this always on air mode. Click save and reboot. Okay. Get back down here. And now the motor stop. See? Motors are stopping unless I do that. So keep that in mind in the future, guys. Um, that is a big deal as far as for people who like to not have the motor spin. You cannot have air mode, air mode configured uh, like that and, and unless you want them to spin when you arm it at the beginning. Um, all right, so that takes care of that problem. Now we'll finish the rest of this video. Flies good. I mean, it's really good. I'm sure you guys can... Okay. Yep, I like it. So I will say that a combination of things here is going to be one, the uh, setting the throttle, um, calibrating your radio, and then uh, and then a few other things here. I also think that in BL Heli, we're gonna change the setting here, but uh, to, to make it a little bit easier. But look, at the end of the day, the main thing was the guy's like, look, it's not flying, it can't, it's not working right, uh, can't do the firmware well. The firmware was flashed wrong anyway, and there's a couple other issues there that we, we're gonna tackle. But um, overall, it is working perfect. I'm extremely happy with it. So uh, I, I hope that this does show people, look, don't be so quick to say that it's defective. It's not. The sucker just flew around here perfect. The video's working great. I've got you your new update. Your firmware's flashing. You were saying it was failing when it was flashing. It's because you were flashing the wrong stuff. You were flashing the ESC and not the firmware of the flight controller, okay? Uh, but these are things you have to learn. That's it. Just don't get upset about it. That's all I ask is relax. We're going to work it together. All right, guys, look, that pretty much does. That's the two videos about my videos that took half an hour apiece, and I'm kind of worn out on this. Uh, but there's our YouTube channel. I know that this is not normal. It's kind of all over the place. I apologize if it seems a little scatterbrained, but um, I'm really pressed for time, and I promise these guys I get this out. So I hope you could slow it down, go back. And if you have any questions, let me know. Um, other than that, please subscribe to my YouTube channel. It just means a lot to me, and I get to kind of brag to my kids as we get more subscribers. I may not be the most favorite guy of yours in the world, but man, just help me out, okay? I really appreciate it. Other than that, God bless, be safe, and most of all. Guys, go spend time with your family. Never know how much time you have left. Please go make the most of it. You can always fly later. I can always do this later when my kids are in school right now, so that's why I'm doing it. Talk to you later, guys. Peace.